Okay, so I wanted everybody to just click on this. Hopefully you can get it to work on your computer. This is a, a new version of it. The to scale model, you realize that we're just a little speck of dust in the universe, so you'll, you'll be able to see things a little bit better with kind of the cartoony model of this. So start with the cartoony model. S spend some time with it to scale model too, because it's, it's eye-opening to realize the size of things. Okay, so, so how this works, these scenarios are already set up for kind of some real life scenarios. So you can watch satellites going around the earth and look at the time this takes. You can look at the moon going around the earth, right? Nice circular orbit. And some of these, I'll put these in the quiz questions, but it's, it's fun to, to actually see it. Okay, so now you have the moon and the earth. These, you can turn the grid on and off. You can grab the path of these things. And there's some actually really neat Mathematica projects showing different paths for combinations of orbits of planets and things with respect to one another. Turn it on velocity. So you can see that tangent velocity. The, the moon looks kind of crazy. And you can also turn on the gravitational force. So you can zoom in and maybe see the force between <clears throat> the Earth and the Moon versus the force between the Earth and the Sun and this kind of thing. Okay, so you can, you can see these scenarios, but it gets better. I'm going to pause this. This orange reset button over here will take you back to kind of their preset things over here. And I'm going to turn on the velocity and the gravity and check this out. You can click on things and you can drag them around. So watch the size of these arrows. Remember that GMM over R squared equation where gravity is a function of how close you are to the object? So they actually have that in there. As you move the objects closer to one another, that GMM over R squared, R is smaller, the force gets larger as you get closer together. So you can pull things around and see that gravitational force change. And you can grab your velocity and you can actually change how big the velocity is too. So starting with a huge velocity, what's that gonna do to your orbit versus a small velocity? Now, as you start playing around with these things, you're gonna have to probably zoom out to see the new orbits. And I want you, for the written work on this one, I want you to grab some screenshots of orbits that you create. So play around with the starting velocities, play around with the starting positions. Think about what creates a perfectly circular orbit, what creates an elliptical orbit, what velocities are happening at the different sides of that orbit, if you have a small radius, a large radius, so just play around with it and get those forces kind of intuitively in your mind and have this as a model to try and work through some of the orbital mechanic homework problems. So hopefully you can have fun with this and let me know if you can't get this to work. I'm hoping that it's as easy as clicking on a website and nothing to download and you can, you can do this all online. So that it's new so I haven't seen people having trouble with it. Okay, so yeah, play around with it, reset it, move the positions around, have that grid on so that you can kind of orient yourself. So like if I don't change anything except for move it closer, what would that do? If it creates an elliptical orbit, which side is closer, which side is farther away? Or if I take it and I move it a little bit farther away, what would that do to the orbit? Okay, have fun with it.